Hello everybody in Twitch world. Welcome to Cooking on the Internet. Mostly for my mom. Mom's not there right now, but I'm sure she'll watch this later, so hi mom. Um, I have a... Pretty excited today, I gotta be honest. Pretty excited. We've got a box. Make sure... Oh, is my address on that? Let's make sure my address isn't exposed. We got a box. And inside this box is a fry later. A Presto something something fry later. And what's cool about this fry later is that it lets you drain the oil through a filter and store the oil in your refrigerator. So I feel like I'll be wasting a lot less oil. So I'm pretty excited. So let's unbox it. And then we're going to make some fish and chips. Um, yeah, I was going to try and make uh, Gordon Ramsay's fish and chips. Went to this, uh, the Gordon Ramsay in uh, Atlantic City. I was playing some poker in Atlantic City. And uh, my friends wanted to go to Gordon Ramsay's. So we got there. And it was probably the best fish and chips I ever had. It was just freaking tremendous. I ended up only eating half of it. And uh, stored the other half um, underneath my friend's car. Because we went to go play poker. Um, and I didn't want to, because uh, we didn't want to leave it inside the car. I felt like it would have you know, stunk up his car with fish. So we, I slid the fish and chips under his car. And uh, it was cold. It was like January. Uh, and played some poker, had a couple drinks at the end of my poker sesh, so when I came back, I had that fish and chips. It was even delicious, cold, from under his car. at Gordon Ramsay fish and chips. So I found a recipe for it. The problem is it uses rice flour, and I don't have any rice flour. So I'm just going to make like my regular beer batter fish and chips with like paprika and garlic powder and beer. Uh, so that should be good though. should be tasty. All right. Let's see what's what here. Let's make sure I get everything set up, ready to go. Okay. So. Let's unbox it. Let's do this. Let's get a knife. I'm not afraid to dull, like a little utility knife or something. Oh, this is like a box knife, right? It's a box knife, so you're just gonna you're gonna want to take the the box knife, and with several downward stabbing motions, without, ooh, I actually did it. All right, no more joking around. No more joking around. Let's see. No jokes. This is a joke show. It's a cooking show. A little funny stuff, guy. You uh, knock it out with the jokes. If I wanted jokes, I'd go to a comedy ha ha place. Yeah, for cooking. Let's check it out. <gasps> it's another box. Double box, guys. There's a box within a box. Yes. Yes. That's twice the unboxing. All right. So let's go upside down. That's my unboxing noise. All right. Yes. So many boxes. All right, this box, it's pretty cool. Standard rectangular box. You can put things in here or not put things in here. You can just throw it in the corner of the room or you could throw it outside before a rainy day and it gets really soggy and gross looking. Uh, you could stack a bunch of these outside, let them get soggy in the rain and then maybe a hornet's nest will start in there. That'd be cool. Oh, it's not my lighting rig. No, we don't need this fan on yet. Let's turn this fan off. Cool. What do we need? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Box number two, guys. Hope we're ready. Box number two. All right. It's a tea fowl. It's not a Presto. It's a tea fowl. It is the tea fowl. FR8000. Drain. Filter. Pretty excited about that. I'm gonna say so I don't know. So I'm gonna I'm gonna fry fish. I'll reuse the oil. I don't care if everything I cook tastes like fish. That's fine with me. All right, I think we're done with the knife. All right. Oh, I broke it. All right. What do we got? Oh, here she is. Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. Alright, anything 
this box we need? Nope. Box number two. I think what I'm going to do with the second box is put it inside that first box. Or maybe I'll put it right next to that first box. Two boxes. That way I can take, if I get a bunch of stuff, I'll put it in one box. And then I can systematically take it out of that box and put it in the other box. So, you know, you got to keep yourself busy. Move things from one box to the other box. This is good for a little tip, a little kitchen tip for you. Boxes. Two of them. All right. Boxes on. All right. All right, so let's take a look here. What do we got? What's in the pack? What's in the package? Probably going to have to wash this first, huh? Probably not going to wash this first. And my first batch of food is going to taste like plastic and Chinese chemicals. All right. So what do we got here? Here's our lid. Okay. Which is interesting, I guess. Oh, you need a lid. Maybe to stop the spatter. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's cool. It's got a little window. So you can see through it, right? And it appears to be some kind of screen, but it's not very thick mesh. I don't know if you can let it focus. Yeah. It's probably just to stop spatters. Just a spatter screen. I've seen some with, like, filters. I guess people really don't like the smell of fried food. I'll just turn on the fan. Like, I worked in a pizza place for a while that had a fry later, and, I mean, you don't want to smell like a fry later, but just cooking, like, a little bit, I don't think it's that big of a deal. We got a lot of cardboard here. Can you see all this? Let's get this. Probably pay attention to the camera, huh? What do we got? Here. There it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There appears to be some instructions in here, which I will read thoroughly before operating, for sure. No doubt. I don't mess around with that. I always read every single instruction in both English, Spanish, and French. Just to cover all my bases. Do not mess around. All right, we'll pull this out. This looks like this comes off. Oh, we gotta, we gotta untape this piece. So I suppose this is the heating element. Nifty. And I, I'm gonna be really careful here because I see a thermostat wire. And I think it would be unfortunate if I destroyed that. Okay. If your fryer does not work anymore, push the reset button. There's a reset button. Si votre fritu su, no chefe plus. Apple you? No, I'm not gonna be able to pretend. Speak French. All right. There's a thing. We got a thing on the thing. Let's get this other thing out. There's our bin. Ah. Oh. There's, oh, look at that. So that's the drain plug right there. Oh, yeah. Wire mesh. You see that? We got a wire mesh plug with a rubber gasket. And I did some reading, and you have to be careful with the gasket. Make sure that when you wash it, you don't destroy the gasket uh, because these can leak. So actually, I think the first time I cook with it, and maybe every time I cook with it, I'm going to put it on a goddamn sheet pan. Because I don't want like a quart of oil, hot oil, on my kitchen floor and my toes and my dog's face. So let's do that. That's a solid idea. I have more cardboard. More cardboard. All oh, this cardboard. I can't I do with all of it. I have to think of different uses. Dude, I like the idea of putting all the, the spare cardboard in one box and then moving it systematically to the next box over the course of an evening. I think that's that sounds like a lot of fun. All right, so let me get this cardboard. I'm gonna put this cardboard in the box. I'll be right back. Man, my dog rolled in something stinky and my wife gave him a shower just now, but I don't think she got it all. Cause it still smells pretty bad in here. Yeah. Pretty, pretty nasty stink. All right, so this goes in here. Cool. And this is gonna go. Yeah, I got it all on box. Almost, I gotta. Isn't that nifty? Oh, it's too nice to let you use it, babe. Automatically filters and stores the clean oil for multiple uses. Look at that. Can you see that? It's upside down. You guys, everyone just stand on your head and read this, okay? All right, cool. I'm going to take that off because I don't want to stick around on a hot thing. Yeah, I'm going to take that off because you need help, I can do it. 
Thank you, Alvin. My wife is fantastic at taking off stickers. She is. It's one of her finest qualities. Sticker removal. That's why I married her. I'm like, one day, I'm like, baby, no one takes off a sticker like you. I'm going to make you mine. I'm going to be taking off my stickers for the rest of time. All right, so we got that in here. So this is like the selling part for me, like I just said on the sticker. This thing comes out, apparently. Oil box, automatic oil filtration, fry, oil box. Yeah. Oil stays right in there. Check it out. And you pop that bad Sally in the fridge. I wonder if you can put it in the freezer. Huh. But it would last longer in the freezer. And oil's not going to freeze. So you don't have to worry about the box like cracking. I'm going to Google it. But I think it'd be better in the freezer, right? It should last even longer in the freezer. I don't fry like every week, you know? And I'd love to just use the oil for as long as possible. It's not super, ex it's kind of expensive. Oil gets pricey. I buy cheap canola oil, but it gets pricey. And it's, I just feel wasteful like throwing out oil. Um, especially if I have only used it a couple times. Instructions that I'm going to read thoroughly. Um, we got over here. What's going on? All right, cool. Nothing's going on. Just, just confirming that I'm talking to myself. Um, I am talking to myself and that's fine. That's fine. Uh, there's a fryer basket. Um, I got, haven't even started yet. I'm just, oh. That's a nice dress. Isn't this? That's oh, really nice. Little, uh, yeah. Where'd you get that? Uh, I think this was given to me. That's really nice. I should probably read. I don't know how that works. I think it goes in just like that. I think you just toss it in. And then, boom. Ooh, hi, right? It's auto. Um, yeah. See how, see so you pull this oil box and it pulls out. And then when you want to filter it, yeah. you go down like that. And there's a setting. So you filter and then there's a thermostat in there. It won't let you drop the oil unless it's cooled down. And that thing comes out and goes in the fridge or freezing. Let's get rid of this, though, right? Oh, we got handles. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. It's got a thermostat. Nice. Isn't that cool? All right, so let's get this cool. aside and let's start cooking. All right. Oh, I see. It goes in like this. All right. Nope, that's definitely not it. Haha! <laughs> Success! <laughs> Basket zero. Cooking on the internet mostly for my mom. One. Goes right in. All right. Now for the very engaging reading instructions on the internet, mostly for my mom. All right, let's put this right here. We got that in there. Let's get these instructions out. All right, what does it say here? Don't do it outside, you dingus. Do it inside, that's the right place. Okay. Uh, don't pick up a bunch of wet potatoes, you dingus. Try off your baked potatoes, really nice. Um. I don't know what they're telling me here. Don't let, oh, don't let the water get into your hot oil, you dingus. Let the water go into some paper, to some towels. Cool. Oh, this is my favorite one. Don't leave your fryer later out at night. <laughs> Put it in a box in your home. <laughs> they're like, they're like pictograms on them. They're pretty great. This dopey guy is doing a bunch of dumb shit with his uh, fry later. Yeah. Look, look at this picture. Don't leave your fry later out at night. <laughs> You're Put it reading. in the box. <laughs> All right. So, do I have to wash this thing before I use it? Did you show them these pictures? Mm -hmm. oh. I just want to confirm that I'm supposed to wash this so when I don't wash it, and it tastes like plastic, I can say, well, the instructions did say wash it. Mm. Well, it, that's like standard. Wash it. Yeah, anytime so you get something, it. wash it, right? You want to wash it? 
<laughs> yeah, I know. Um, before first use, the fryer can be completely dismantled. Remove the lid, remove the frying basket, the control unit, and the bowl. Remove the oil box position by positioning the oil box control button in the oil box position. Clean the lid, the bowl, the housing, the frying basket, and the oil box with soap and water? Are you kidding me? Clean the control unit separately with a sponge. Dry thoroughly. We're not doing any of this, Autumn. Why? Because what do we have to be afraid of? We're Americans. That's cool. This fits. Now, what I want to talk about is, yeah, what, is doing it. what is the user-friendly way to clean this thing? Because this is just going to So get it comes, clean. so this gets washed, right? This comes out. Huh. And this whole thing, you just go wash it and then put it back. Oh, that is nice. Yeah. Everything comes apart, and if we don't have a dishwasher, but you can put it in the dishwasher except for the control unit. Yeah. Can you hand? Can you even hand wash this part? Yeah. Yeah, if you want. Because that's gonna get funky too. With oil, yeah, you're right. I'll give it a. If but if you do it every time, it shouldn't be a big deal. Well, I want to make sure that well that this is. Clean this is gonna get the funkiest. This is what. That's gonna get the funkiest. This is how you screws. So you don't have to open up the top. I feel like I'm never gonna use this though. Like I'm just gonna fry, and be fine. Really? With it. You shouldn't yeah. put the cover on. I feel like it probably, I mean, if it's designed, if it's... Yeah, but if I don't ever have to clean this, I'll take a couple spatters of oil in the eye. It's fine. Well, I'm just talking about more like the efficiency. Like if this is... Oh, heat-wise, will it retain if heat it was better? Made, You're right, it may. Most anyway. of these things are, you know, it would be, it's designed for the top to be on, I think. I don't know. Maybe you're wrong. You, uh, it might be in the instructions that I didn't read. Who will not read. Structures are for chumps and Europeans. That's you, babe. <laughs> All right. Uh, Not me, but you. There we go. Just kidding. No, I'm European too. <laughs> Wicked European. It's not as much. Not as much as them. Okay. All so right. Step one to being in the kitchen is putting your hair up. Put your hair up, kids. I'm gonna move this. Well, I'm gonna put it on this pan on the stove. Because it was people were saying that this valve can um like leak sometimes and oh. yeah so we're just gonna put it on top That's of this good. pan for we don't now. Want a leaky valve. No, we don't. And was can we see it? Can we see our fryer? No. Oh no! Holy cow! No. Okay, that's good enough. You get an idea. There's a fryer there. Trust us on that. Mm -hmm. All right. And yeah, I guess let's get started with uh, making some fish for our fish and chips. Mm -hmm. right. um, oh yeah, so I guess it makes sense to be able to see we go frame. There we go. All right, so we need a bowl. Mm, we don't need a big bowl, a little bowl. And you know what though? I think it's more fun if we're on camera. You know what? Let's do yeah, it. to see us moving around. Yeah, this is us moving. That's, that's Justin moving. I'm not. I'm not in the shot. <laughs> can we see? But you can hear me. All right. That's all right. You just let me so, know when you need me. Well, I'm gonna need I'll you assist, to I'll assist measure in the frame, and I'll assist outside of the frame. <laughs> You're both on camera and off camera help. I appreciate that. Yeah. All right. I got so, your back, babe. oh no, did that not go? Oh no, Justin. Oh no, buddy. I had a thing, but I closed it. Oh no, here it is. Just kidding. It's fine. Everything's good on the internet, but I want to keep this up too, just in case we get a chatter. All right, cool, cool. And we'll put that here. All right, Autumn, you ready to cook? Ready to cook. You ready to cook this food? Yeah. All right, let's cook some food. Oh my goodness. Hype. Hold up. All right. So we're going to need a cup that's 120 grams. And let's do a half a cup. Let's do a half a cup. Half a cup. Flour. Is that right? Maybe that calculation correctly. Yeah, so quarter cup is 30 grams. So half a cup is going to be. 60 grams. Oh, wait a second. We should probably heat up this oil before we get anything ready. What am I doing? All right. Let's do that. All right. Mm 
You're gonna go on the back here where you belong. Cool. We'll plug you in right here. Nifty. And we're gonna use this cheap canola oil that I purchased. Ooh, with a leaky cap, that's good. That means there's probably some oil in my car. That's great. That's great. And let's fill it up to the max line. Oh, we could get away with the min line. Is this the whole, oh no. Is this really gonna be the whole? Oh man. My min? Oh man. So, I'm glad that I can reuse this oil because it's kind of a bummer. Get a little bit more over here. The rest of this one. And we're just at the min. You know, I don't think our fish is going to be entirely submerged. What a bummer. Not enough oil? Yeah, not oil? enough oil. I put oil? in. What? That's what my mom says. <laughs> that whole thing and. That's just barely enough. I don't think we're gonna be able to get our fish submerged. Mm. Well, it's not well, really a deep. You could use the rest of that oil. I don't think that's gonna do it. Look. It might help. It's not gonna bring it up to where it needs to be. We underestimated the amount of oil we needed. What a bummer. Hmm. Mm. All right, well, we'll do our best. We gotta toss them around a little bit. We'll toss them around. Is this down all the way? Yeah. Yeah. So, and that's just about on the max line. Mm -hmm. Well, when you put food in here, that's going to raise the oil. It's going to raise it up, Okay, yeah. all right, we're cool. We're cool. We good. We're good. All right, Autumn. So we need 60 grams of flour. Mm -hmm. I'll get you a spoon. Thank you. Spoon. <laughs> Insert into flour. <laughs> And you keep going until it reaches the desired number, which in this case is 60. Yeah, that's right. All right, there we go. Um, we're going to put in some salt. And remember, double your salt if you're using kosher salt. So we're going to do double it. Double that kosher. salt. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it was like. Add, add a teaspoon. Add about five grams, so make it 65. Almost there, we're at 58, ladies and gents. We're gonna have to go 65. A kilo is a thousand grams, it's easy to remember. Alright, you good? That's no, it's fine. It's That's fine. good. Yeah, a gram of is not gonna make a difference. Okay. We're good. It's not non-significant. Close oh, call. But I gotta turn this on. You're gonna bring it on uh, 365. We done with the flour? And that's not on. There we go. So. Yes, we're done with the flour. I will move the flour. Uh, we're gonna put some paprika in there. Paprika. Some garlic powder, about a tablespoon of each. Do you want to measure? Yeah. Actually, I don't need it. I'm pretty good, but I'll take it. Just to take that lid off. Can this just come off? Oh, it does. Yeah. Right some, off. Of, some of these don't, or maybe the ones I've used are just stuck. Yeah, that in the summertime, I feel like they get stuck. Right off. Uh, and I'll grind some pepper. Pepper grind, pepper grind, pepper grind. Boop. That's pepper grind. Pepper grind. Manette's alive, um, cooking on the internet. I think, there's, I think there's pepper left over in that grinder. Is it? To use that, yeah. I can I grind some today? Oh, oh you're I right. You are correct. Tablespoon you wanted the paprika? Still yeah, tablespoon. tablespoon of paprika. It's okay. pretty red batter. It uh, sounds pretty red. <laughs> it's pretty red batter. So I was just double checking. That's good. Yeah, that, you, yeah that's, ooh, okay. that's really red. <laughs> Oopsies. I usually eyeball it, and I definitely don't put it in that much. That's what I got written down. Um, yep, yeah, put the pepper in, and then we need an egg. Egg. Okay. Half an egg. Half? No, I'll just put the whole goddamn egg in. You're having me do that. Half an egg? Okay. Yeah, what are we going to do with the other half? I guess half we could just egg. use the white. Eggs? Just 
put the egg half in. Don't put it in the shell. Yeah, there we go. You know what? Let's let's scoop out just a little yolk. I don't want it to be too rich. You see, that's that's ballsy. I'm gonna say doing it with the shell. That's how you do it. That's the best way. It's a perfect job to not do not get shell in there. And you're gonna go in there. Yeah. And scoop out yolk. With the if shell. you ever do get a shell in there, the best thing to get it out with is is a shell. I believe it. Shell and shell. All right. So bear. Where's the bear, kid? Here in eggs with eggs. All right. Oh, you got the answer. I did. They were only 99 cents each. At, uh, I guess Barefoot wasn't 99 cents. He always forgets me when he goes to the liquor store. Yeah. I'm not a, I really, I drink very, very little. Like, very, very little. She but, me. but, very aggressive never drink. remembers me. It's right, a matter of self-preservation. Yes, yeah, yeah, give, give me a, a beta. A fork. Now, you don't want to, you don't want to blend it too hard. Tell me what to do. I know how to do this. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh. Call it some beer. Okay. Mmm. Guys, this looks delicious. <laughs> you ready to eat that flour <laughs> and paprika? That's good. Mm. Let's slow down. Put it down. Put it down. There you go. Make sure it's on the camera. Very. Sorry. Sorry. This is the internet on them. You know what? This is reminding me of. And I'm kind of tempted to eat right now. What? <laughs> the Tim and Eric. Yes. <laughs> this looks just like the Pissman's Tim's mustard. Kitchen. Oh, we need a little bit of Pissman's mustard in this. We have zero mustard. Guys, we had every time, <laughs> I don't know, for some reason we went through a, I don't know, like a tuna sandwich kick, so we had a lot of mustard. But every time we were going to the store, we kept thinking that we didn't have enough mustard. So we had like five mustards. Then, I don't know, for those of you guys that are not in Connecticut or the Northeast, a few weeks ago, um, we had four tornadoes touch. Um, Connecticut and actually went right through our town um, and so luckily our house is okay but we lost power for about four days so all of those multiple cans everything of, uh, of mustard had to go and a lot of everything else yeah. uh, it was a bit stinky <laughs> Not, we saved the kimchi though. Worse. We it, saved the, the kimchi. Kimchi, kimchi like it, it got is better. about funk. Yeah, yeah it, got, so. it just got better. That. So the fish. What are you doing with the fish? Can I season the fish? We, uh, well, the, the we can salt the fish. We should. We should salt the fish. We should have salted the fish first. A little bit. Well, keep, get the oil going because the oil takes a while. Then salt mm -hmm. the fish. And then, do and then we should cut the potatoes and dry them out really good. You potatoes? Yeah, yeah. Fish and chips. Oh. Right. So let me... I'm going to salt the fish. And uh, cross contaminate the salt. I got the loins. Can I try for the loins? Huh? For the loins. Usually the loins are more, but they were all together, and I just asked white. them to cut me the loins. Is it always that white? Cod is. That's like so much like snow. It's not super fresh though. It's got a little funk to it. It's, it is Thanks, fresh. shop right. All right. So yeah, we'll let that salt soak in a little bit. Cool. Get a cutting board. Oh, the yard looks so nice. Here. Not too bad. Mm -hmm. So, what do we got? Um, one person. Cool. You know, that's hey, one cool. Person. Hi, one person. Welcome. We appreciate it. Yeah, really, man. Really? Like, that's not sarcastic. Like, I'm not lying. You should probably put on the hunger service because he's very we, good. We enjoy it. We had long days. <laughs> Justin went to work today, and I work in a school, so I have the summers off. Mm -hmm. But So I she mean, sits around in pretty dresses all day. All day. That's exactly what I do, guys. <laughs> um, no. So I was outside um, in the yard work yesterday. Um, I should, well, maybe Justin can put uh, pictures up. I'm by myself. Girl power um, made an entire fire pit with I cinder blocks. Do you guys know how the cinder blocks are? Impressive. It's pretty. And impressive. then today we have She's a beautiful like lady. blackberry bush. Thank you. Um, blackberry bushes. It's more like a blackberry farm. Um, so I had to get in there today and take out all the dead branches. And anyway, it's looking. Did you beautiful. get them all out? Um, hmm? Did you get all the dead branches out? Oh yeah, I'm gonna. I'll finish it tomorrow. Yeah, but. Um, 
Did some more? Three, four, more than three quarters done, yeah. Nice. Yep. Um, yeah, it looks great, so I'm really excited. We're going to have a blackberry picking party. Take some jam up. Yeah, well, if people come, I'll get the cute little baggies. Sorry, I'll keep camera. it out of the camera. And I'll do right here. There we go. I'll do this. Would you stay, stay in camera, though. Keep talking about those blackberries. Okay, so blackberries. <laughs> um, what did we do with them last year? Well, last year we made, which, uh, which is on. what I think I want to do. It wasn't on, guys. Oh, no. <laughs> so how did you do that? Well, did I, you, you know how, you, how did you, you turn, it turn it into the off position? I, you know how it's usually turned on? Yeah. I had it off. I didn't hit the uh, on button. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, so where was I? Black race. Oh, yeah. So um, last year, which is what I would like to do for um, for holiday gifts, is we just made delicious syrup. Um, because that, I, you know, I can make now, we can jar that up, and then um, give it to people as gifts, but I gotta tell you, it was delicious. Like, we went out that morning, picked them, um, put them in the pan, added some confectioner sugar, oh, put it right on our hot waffles. Oh, yeah, we had it on waffles, it, that's yeah, right. Yeah, it, it was delicious. And jams we can do, I guess, personally, I'm not a huge jam person, but syrup, dope. Yeah, syrup's good. Um, and I feel like, yeah, so that's what I would like to do. But I want to have lots of, like, friends and family over to pick, too, because we have so much. The family that lived here before us actually left us a really sweet note saying that they would freeze five to six pounds. Just freeze five to six pounds. So there's so much that I want to basically take it, freeze it, make syrup for the holidays, but then have people come and pick some. And honestly, even if they want... um want some blackberries i mean they can i'll i'll dig some up for them so they can have some in their own yard but it's looking really beautiful um so hopefully i can upload some pictures of that too and then it'll be Sorry. cool actually if we could um if we could make something yeah. with the blackberries from our make, yard maybe um, we could videotape like going cobbler? out picking them black yeah blackberry do, something cobbler. Dessert, do something desserty um i've really been thinking about and craving strawberry shortcake However, not the regular like cake strawberry shortcake, uh, the kind with the biscuits because it's freaking delicious and I, I haven't had it since I think maybe I was in sixth grade. Um, so I'd like to make that, but maybe I can make that fries. and do a do a blackberry twist. That's enough fries. Yeah, yeah sorry. That's I just plenty. took, there wasn't much left, so I just, I just rinsed the rest of the potatoes. Yay! Yeah, I like the idea of a blackberry cobbler. Yeah. Because I'm a big fan of streusel. Of what? Streusel, the brown stuff. Oh, yeah. I think yeah. that goes on color. We cobbler. can do that. We can do that. Shoes. Yeah, that is. That's streusel. Cobbler. cobbler has streusel, right? That's cobbler, yeah. So I've never been a peach guy, so peach cobbler's not really my thing, but... <laughs> we're going to dry these potatoes to minimize splatter. Now, you want really good french fries. Yeah. You got to... What do you do, babe? You got to... Tell us. Put them in water. 190 degrees. Yeah. Acidify the water with a little bit of vinegar. Acidify. 190 degrees, about 25 minutes. Take them out, cool them. Deep fry them at a low temp. I think like it's 260 or 270. The first fry. Cool them. At this point, you can freeze them. And then you pop them back in for just a, uh, like five or seven minutes at 350. And mm -hmm. that's your, that's basically your McDonald's french fry right there. Hmm. You got the oh, pot potato -y inside. I love homemade fries, though. Yeah, I've made them like that at home. They're a lot of work, but... Yeah, no, I just prefer, like, the... Just fry them. Just, just fry them. Plain homemade, leave the skins on. Just fry them. Just fry them. I worked up a bit of an appetite with the factory, so I'm going to have some clementine. There you go. And put these right here. Safe and sound, next to the flammable thing. Uh, should, I should cut these potatoes next up, to too. Next the flammable thing. Can you come up? Hmm. my potato ends. You want me to eat them? Oh, you do eat raw potatoes. She loves raw potatoes. Shh. It's a secret. It's her dirty secret. Since I was really little. Um, it's heating up. It's actually, heating my up. mom can tell you the story. I grabbed one. You know, mom said, like, literally eyes in the back of their head. She mm -hmm. was like, what'd you grab? And it was, like, in my mouth. And I was like, a potato? And she was like, raw? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, Ew! <laughs> oh, this is eating up pretty quick. Taste. We're already up to oh, that was about really two ten. Yeah, this is faster than the gas in a Dutch oven for sure. Whoa, that's cool! It's made wow, it's moving time. up quick too. Yeah, 
Yeah, that coil in there is just gonna... That's like... So let's put the oven on to, let's say, 200, just to keep the fish warm. I want to fry um. the fish first. I feel like the fries, you, you gotta eat the fries fresh. Thank you. I know how to use an oven sometimes. Sometimes. That's good. No lumps, a little liquidy. Okay. That's fine. Hmm. It's much lovelier red than that. But it's pretty though. It's pretty. Oh, no. Okay, now I can see us. Here we are. This is us on the internet. Mm -hmm. Mostly for my mom. <laughs> so yeah, speaking of which, so we do our stream on Friday nights at 7 p.m. on Facebook Live. Yes. You can type into your web browser. Cooking on the internet, mostly for my mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you could put that in. I don't know what'll come up. Oh, maybe I don't I know. I feel like it would pop up because the Facebook page it would pop yeah. up. Yeah, I don't know if I'm SEO yet. Search engine optimized. Can I try it? Let's try it right now and see what. Yeah, happens. give it a shot. Um, but if you want to do some typeity type, you can type fb.com. That's Facebook. Facebook.com forward slash cooking for my mom. What comes up? What our moms taught us no. about cooking. Not yes. yet. We'll get Not there. We'll, we'll get, get there. there. Sorry, Don't worry guys. about it. <laughs> but I uh, and you can check it out. And you can come watch me on Facebook, right? Facebook. And you can also meet my mom. Yeah. So if you're on Facebook, go to mm. Facebook, type in uh, Cooking on the Internet, mm -hmm. and it, it will come up. Yeah. So, okay. That's oh, yeah. If you put Cooking on the Internet, mostly for my mom, into Facebook, Facebook, that'll come up. That's it's just, easier right. just to go Facebook.com. Forward slash cooking oh, for my mom. Cooking for my mom. Okay. That's your direct link. I'm gonna bring you right to the page. Hit the direct like link. button. You can see all our videos. We made a bunch of food. Yeah, we have. We're we're gonna gonna a food. lot of videos. My yeah. mom's really yeah. enjoying it. Lots of and support. And you can too. Lots of uh, yeah, yeah. So keep following us. Yeah. Um, hey, you could bring your mom. More moms than Mary. More moms. Bring your mom. More moms. So we she's, she's she's probably, she'll you probably be into it. You bring your grandmas. We'll even let you bring your dads or your grandpas oh, yeah. or your aunts. You got step cousins. I'd like to meet those bring dads. Bring them. Um, you can bring anybody. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. You can bring anybody. Um, not also, your cousins. That's not, weird. Don't bring your cousins on stream. Cousins are people no. are really close to their cousins. You need to leave your cousins alone. Don't listen to him. You call your cousins way too much. Every time there's an issue. Cousins are great being friends. <laughs> All right, this is a family. Check this, this is a family affair, guys. Let's okay. check this one. So we're checking the channel. While he's doing that, I'm going to let you guys know. So I am um, a social worker. Cheers. And I am also um, a doula. So for those of you that don't know what a doula is, a doula traditionally um, is a support person that offers, you know, emotional and physical support um, for a family, for a woman. Um, somebody that's giving birth um, during labor and delivery. Is that the most common kind of doula? That's like the a, most common, a yeah, yeah. A lot of people that know about doulas, they know birth doulas. That's but what I hear a lot. beautifully, mm -hmm. um, doula care has expanded. So there are doulas that help, um, that of course still do the birth, that help families in the postpartum period, which is the period of time after a baby is born. There are doulas that help with miscarriages, abortions, the whole nine. Um, and so I am a postpartum doula. Jeez. Um, for a number of reasons. I love the birth side, could talk to you about birth. Um, hopefully we'll continue to attend births, but for my main gig, cause I do work full time as a social worker, the postpartum of course fits in the schedule better because birth is not planned. Can't predict that. Um, can't predict that. Well, there's some prediction, um, but the window is rather so, large. So right? yes, yes. Um, so if you, um, you yourself or you know somebody, um, that is expecting a baby or, um, is pregnant, um, if you plan on buying a baby from a black market in China, don't do that. Oh, you're gonna, I'm just saying. <laughs> Those people need help too. They're if gonna need have, postpartum care. If you care. want, if you have questions about adoption, come talk to me. I'm also an adoption counselor, so yeah. you can come talk to me about that. But um, don't seriously, steal if you know someone um, that is having a baby, plan to have a baby, you yourself are having a baby, have questions about um, abortion, adoption, 
uh, labor and delivery. I welcome and support all of those things. Um, so feel free to check me out. Mm -hmm. My Facebook page is Parent Technique. So the two words, but it's one word, so they share the T. So P-A-R-E-N-T-E-C-H-N-I-Q-U-E. Um, on Facebook and from there um, you can feel free to add, like you know send me any questions um, and there's also the link to my website which is just parenttechnique.org. Well, we put that up. Uh, all right we'll put that up there. Um, again I've worked with uh, so many families in a variety of capacities and one of the things that um, I had noticed observed and felt really passionate about was the lack of care overall for parents from the time like a baby comes into their life to the time the child is 18 years old an adult um and i've always really been called to that um and i feel like it fits in really well with social work so again um if you yourself or you know someone that could use support um or might be struggling maybe they just had a baby and are like oh my god what the f um, please, because that's what it can feel like. Um, please uh, reach out to me. I am there for you. Thank you. All that right, I'm done. I'm done plugging. That was a good plug. Cool. That was a solid plug. Was it? Well, that thank was you. Good. Did I spell that right? Parenting. You did. All right, cool. I should have. That's cool. I thought of the name. I, <laughs> he did. Yeah, everyone asks me I'll that when they see like my brochure. Oh my god, this is great marketing. Who came up with the name? I'm like my husband. Who designed the brochure? My husband. <laughs> she does say it so, like that. It's real creepy. I do. Husband. <laughs> wow. It's so this this oil's ready to go. Oh, that is too high. We gotta no, like. No, it's not. Isn't 350 it? is good. No, I thought. I've oh. Had, I usually set it to 365 and maintain it well, at you 350. You want close though, because when it gets 400 degrees, that's dangerous. 450. Yeah, yeah. You don't want it up too high. That's really good. One time I, I did. I checked it, and you're like, oh my god, why is it four? So just looking at the thermostat, it uh -huh. is it is a little low, and I read that online too with some of the reviews that it overestimates the heat a little bit. So I'm I'm gonna bring it up to 365 and then bring it back and down to 350. Why don't you just leave it at 365 because the temp's gonna go down when you put the fish in? That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna bring it up to 365 and maintain yeah. it at 350. Oh okay. Yeah. Sorry. About so that. I'm saying. Sorry. So I'm saying. Sorry. All right, let's turn on this fan. Fan time. So we'll gonna... speak a little bit louder because our fan is awesome and super powerful, but it does get a little loud. But we'll keep that on the. We'll keep it on the low. Down. All right. All right. So what's next, sir? I'm gonna fry this goddamn fish, Fry Frying goddamn fish. Oh, we need uh, the flour out again. I'm sorry. So this really, I looked at my legs. Look at this. It is like I've only had one other Ooh. bruise in my life. It's bruised. Oh my goodness. You got you got a boo boo. Yeah. It's a green boo boo. Oh my god! I look. I just looked in the shower and I'm like, mm, that's a bruise. It's a bruise. So we're just gonna sprinkle a little bit of flour on here, like a bruise. Like a bruise. Just uh, to help the batter stick a little bit, cross contaminate the flour, mm. like a boss. There we go. So you're just going to put the batter and then put it in like that? You yeah. It's really flour? No, it's batter. Ball? It's batter fish. Oh, yeah, because there's flour in it. Yep. All right. Which is a cool way. So one of these days, guys, I, one of my, like, I don't know, signature dishes. growing up signature dishes is fried chicken, mm. which, you know, I'm, never mind. But um, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's great. It's delicious. Uh, you know, not something that I grew up eating all the time, but like once a month we had like fried chicken and it was delicious. Um, so I would love to make that along with hubby here. I actually taught him how to make fried chicken good. Now he does. He does. Yes. Yes. Yeah. He can. It's inaccurate. He hates, he hates it. He hates it. It's okay, babe. It's okay. Inaccurate. It's okay. It is You're the one thing. You're lying on the internet, And I Autumn. say this. No, it's the one thing. Like, I do better than he does in the kitchen and <laughs> I taught him how to do. And it's true. I taught him that, and I taught him how to love me in general, which you've gone over. If you've watched, or you go, like I said, Facebook slash Cooking for My Mom. Mm -hmm. um, learn all about loving the meat there. Well, learn all about loving the meat, which is basically a way to really get in there and season meat. Because um, a lot of people don't like to get their hands dirty, or they do a little sprinkle, or they put so all the salt and pepper on which, one side. So and you want to, when you put in the fish, Ooh, you want to let it cook a little bit before you drop the whole fish. Drop it in slowly. Can you see that? Oh, yeah, they can see that. So it doesn't stick to the basket. It's still gonna stick to the basket, yeah. but that's okay. That's a new trick. Oh yeah. All right, we're so it's just about a cup. Oh no! <laughs> stick your finger in the hot oil. Don't do that. There we go. 
There we go. It's pretty much submerged. There's like a millimeter of fish that isn't submerged, so it'll be a little soggy there. That's not bad, though. Soggy bits. A little bit more oil. The, the thing I'm concerned with is, is that we're not much below the max line. So you either have to put in too much oil and just make sure your food is really dry, um, or Wait. you can't cook Wait, a we're lot not of food. Much below the max? Yeah, we're not much below the max. Oh, line. with that, so yeah. it was good we didn't have more oil. I know. I would have liked a little bit. We weren't at the max line, so maybe if we're at the max, this would be perfect for this fish. But well, I'm just trying do? to think of like size. Like you could fit one more piece this way, so you could probably mm -hmm. do three pieces. Of yeah. Piece. Oh yeah. You could do four if you wanted to. Maybe. No. no. Like what if I pulled this tight. one this way, this one over a little bit? It'd be tight. You're right. No, I think three. You're good solid with three. Solid with three. Three chicken. Like if you're doing just chicken thigh, you'd probably do four thighs. Sorry guys, I'm not used to this camera <laughs> thing. Yeah. Oh, we can't kiss on the internet. No. Oh, come on. See <laughs> what I have to put up with? Mm. Anyway. Mm. <laughs> oh, how are we looking? Good. That's brown enough nice. I mean, it's, it's pretty red color. valley. I love, moment. no, the, I think that's perfect when you see it now. Mm. And it doesn't, you can't really see it or it kind of looks green yellow in the camera for whatever reason, but it's just, it's this beautiful, um, it's almost like a golden brown. You know, it looks, there's red in it, but um, it's kind of like a golden brown. It's really nice. I like to fry things hard, so we're going to fry the crap out of this. Yeah. For sure. You learn that from me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is what happens for those of you watching and that aren't married. This is what happens when you're together. It's constantly like your wife takes credit off. for all your shit. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, enjoying a nice Narragansett bear, mm. uh, indigenous to Rhode Island, where I'm from. <laughs> uh, it is where he's from. But they do sell it here in Connecticut now. <sighs> So that's nice. They do sell it here in Connecticut now. It's always been in Connecticut. Has it? Yes. Oh. Well, it's always been in Connecticut. Now. But I found a cheap source for it. I got the hookup, which is nice. Because it's six now. bucks in Rhode Island for a six pack of uh, these tall boys. Right? And I came to Connecticut. It's like $10, $11. Okay, Connecticut. But uh, yeah, found a new place. I get a six pack for five bucks or 99 cents a can. Mm. It's a good deal. Good deal. Good deal. Let's uh, yeah. let's check these potatoes. Make sure. Yeah, I got all this extra batter. Do we have any onions? No. No. Yeah, we have, yeah, we have that little bit left. But I want to save that. Half an onion. Yeah. You can have onion rings. No, no, we're good there. Oh, okay. Can't have yeah. fries and onion rings. Well, I just want to save that for for cooking. Yeah, we'll probably need it yeah, for something. Like, we'll probably need it for something. And do we need French fries, fried fish, and onion rings? No. No. I mean, I haven't calculated my Weight Watchers points today, but probably not. Because he wasn't out there doing, doing this. Doing guns. Like this. Working on your guns. Look at that guy. Fish. If only you could... There's actually... I have a, starting to get a definition line. Are you proud of that? <laughs> Did you move my fork? Oh, no, I haven't touched any of your things purposely. I'm trying to do better with that. Another tip. Yeah. When you're married and you're in the kitchen together... Don't one touch of you my is gonna shit. Be, yeah, yeah. When you... Uh, we cooking, making lots of dishes for the other, and the other <laughs> throwing shit away. Yeah. Fun time. This doesn't want to flip. I thought it did flip. Mm -hmm. One of them flip. I'm having trouble with this one. I'm like tearing it up a little. Oh, we gotta go long ways? No. Let's go this way. There we go. Oh. Oh, we got a little tear in the batter. So, yeah, I didn't get it. Um, I didn't put it down slow enough, and this isn't deep enough. So that's okay. That's alright. Uh, if I had bought, like, the skinnier pieces, sorry, if I had bought the skinnier pieces and not the one, it'd be less of an issue. Mm -hmm. But it's just a huge issue right now, and I'm about to throw this in the garbage. It's huge. Huge. Huge, huge issue. It's a big deal. So what happened in your news today? Because I actually, because I'm not going to work, oh my I didn't hear NPR. I chose to listen to music, and I brought my best friend Peter with me to school though. Good move. I'll tell you what happened in the news today. Yeah. I know. I didn't do it. Normally, sometimes I'll listen to it in the house, but I didn't. Mean, 
Uh, President Trump, President Trump, Trump, Trump made Trump. some really good decisions. Yeah. And everyone was really stoked about it. Oh. And he continues to make good decisions. Yeah. And everyone seems to agree. Oh, I can take this down now. Everyone seems to agree that he's a real reasonable guy. No one really has a problem with him. That's and he makes he makes a lot of he has a lot of good ideas. He makes great deals. He makes really good deals. Yeah. And I just Prouder and prouder to be an American he's every day. A, he's really rich. He's a really rich guy. Thank you. He's a really rich guy. Ah, the news. Ah, uh, the news. Yeah. That's starting to look good. Yeah? I'm going to yeah, fry the crap that's out of this fish. Really really we'll have one pretty side. The other side's not going to be pretty. Well, and there'll be a little oil it. log. But what are you going to do? Well, if you get a solid coating in bag, it won't. I think you need a little more flour. Maybe. I think it just needs I to be a deeper... Good. Generally, you have yeah. a big pot, and you drop it in slowly, so you're basically making the coating yep. of cooked yep. batter on the fish as yep. you drop it. I only did the tip, drop the rest onto the basket, the wire basket, just the tip. But like how else, especially in a fryer, like you're not. Like this, I would have had to go much slower. Like drop it. Yeah, I just I take a little more flour. And then slowly. Ooh. Flour has nothing to do with it. The batter stuck to the basket. That's why you're supposed to be using the lid. <laughs> Should we try it? Yeah. Yeah. Grab the lid. I'm not gonna mess it. I don't want to. You know. For safety, honestly, though, like, you know, when it's done. Yeah, you that's true. It. You can be walking along in the kitchen, just mind your business, and whoa! Well, you this know? is already, because this sticks out. That's easy. I don't know if I like that. And this, this should be able to go down. If you just, but like, it I does, can easily actually. go like this, because look how much, like, yeah. I can easily go like this. Yeah, well, don't do that. Be careful. I'm going to grab that kitchen. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to grab that kitchen. I'm going to grab that kitchen. I'm going to grab that kitchen. I'm after a few of these. A few of these? Or not even. You're just like sleepy. You're tired and you come and you're like sleepy. on this. Yeah, like you wake up at 3 in the morning you're like, I need some french fries. And you're drunk. And setting this up might not yeah. be the best idea. You know what I don't like? I don't like, the, I don't like the water collecting on the window. Why? Because then there's going to be spattering. I don't like it. Spattering in. I don't like so it. The door is closed. I don't like it. I don't like it. Plus, look how beautiful that fish is frying up, guys. Look at that. Woo! Yeah. Pretty excited about that fish. And I know you are, too. I'm just watching now. Absolutely nobody. We're talking really? to ourselves. Oh, we're the person. I thought we'd do a few other people. Uh, it's kind see. of a tough time. That's okay. So we'll watch it later. Oh, no. there's We got two plus the box. Yay! Hey, what's up, guys? Thank you. Again, if you just joined... Um, this is cooking on the internet mostly for my mom, which is my hubby. Right. Justin, our mom, Justin I guess. Hopes. Our mom, my mother-in-law. <laughs> um, and so you can check out our page in other videos. Um, if you go to Facebook slash cooking for my mom, um, lots of awesome videos, lots of guest stars. Lots of on our mediocre show. videos. Um, they're pretty good. They're pretty good and fun. Well, we're hilarious. That's true. Um, and anyway, I'm the lead producer. I'm still waiting on my name lead tag. Producer. Do you hear me? She has a crack team. See me. Um, but we're doing more of streaming on Twitch now. So you can see me and hopefully I'll do a few, few uh, episodes where I cook. Ooh. Oh, we got some spatter. Really see, it's action TV now. Well, maybe Without the shield, it's maybe action TV. Maybe one of those round screens that my mom had. Yeah, a screen. I like a screen better. That'll that let the condensation good. through, and but also block the spatter. They should make one that like fits this. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, it's getting spicy down there. Ooh, that's looking good. <laughs> All right. Do you want me to stand on the danger side? I'll be on the danger side. There's the oil. Well, I'm a little. I'm a little worried about your beard, like cutting off the fire. Look at that go. Look at them fishes. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can pull it down this side. Where it's deeper. I can angle it. And it does absolutely nothing. It's the same thing. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's why I got one of these things so I can shake it. Yeah, but there's no, like, that doesn't do, it doesn't do anything. anything. One of those things it really looks cool, cool though. You're just splattering it up. This is the internet. It's all about looking cool. 
All right. Um, do I want to go on this? Okay. Ooh, it's getting nice and dark. Let's give it like one more minute. Okay. We're going to take them out. Okay. And then we'll get those fries in there. Okay. You know, I want to check the oils. I forgot to turn the oil down. Check, check, check the oil. So the thermostat is reading, I have it at about 372, and it just kicked on. So it's probably a little bit below that. Ooh, it's spattering up in my fingers. Let's see where it actually is. Mike, can you see it? There it is. Wow, it's actually significantly lower. It did just kick on, but I wonder what, like, the, um... Oh, here it goes. Yep, it kicked on and it's climbing again. wonder what the window is for it to turn back on. It shouldn't be 20 degrees. I'd like it to stay within 5 degrees if it's an electric thermostat, you know? Wow, oh, 336? This is garbage. Maybe it's because I didn't wash it. 340. This is burning. This is singeing my skin here. 341. 343. Yeah. It's a little low. What if I crank it all the way? Nah, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it too much. You know, I've been thinking about this thing too. I feel like sometimes I gotta. It's a javelin. Oh, javelin. Javelin. Um, it was recommended by, I think, Serious Eats. I read an article, and you see the Serious Eats or America's Test Kitchen. It was like the number two. But I don't know. I've been having some skeptical reason uh, readings from it. I changed the battery. It's been giving me some uh, results I don't 100% believe in, like, meats and stuff. I don't know. Uh, it's probably the way I'm using it. Jesus! All right! That was exciting, guys. All right, so it obviously hit a pocket of moisture in the middle of a fish there. Let's pull that out. Oh. Did you shut it off? No, because we're going to put french fries in there. Oh, sure. Sorry, guys. There it is. And we'll just let that drain. It rests, yeah. Let me see. Can you take it off? There's a thing right here. Do you see that little thing? Okay. And then what? Right here. And this goes into that. Yeah. Nice. So we'll give that a little shake, shake, shake. Nice. Let it drain for. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> you make me nervous with that. You're like that fish is just gonna go flying in your face. Hey, you viewers out there, you don't have to say nothing. But if say you're on your TV and you can't type, but I would love it if you hit that follow button. That would be super. I want to get 50 followers, uh, because then I'll have 50 followers. That's right, 50. That's pretty cool. If I get to 50. I'll have 50. And um, Justin will also, he's great. He plays the ukulele and he sings songs. So mm -hmm. he can sing you, and he works with little ones. So he can probably sing you some really great kids. Yeah, if I get to 50, with I will, my 50th follower, I will compose I mean, what, what and perform okay. a song just for you. Oh, guys. Based serious. on your screen name. Yeah. Serious. My Based 50th follower. Name. So hit that follow button. Hey, what's up, Biggie TT? Hi, Biggie. What's going on? Thanks for watching. Yeah. We're making some fish and chips. Mm -hmm. And they're just coming off the fryer now, the fish is. Oh, nice and dark. Maybe a little too dark. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo. I do like it on the dark side, but I can smell it's a little. That got really dark. That's going to be good, though. That's going to be good. All right, it's going to go in the oven just to keep it warm. And we're going to get these french fries in. Chips time. Time for chips. AKA french fries. So we cut up our fries before. <laughs> they're not french fry potatoes. They're waxy potatoes that we had for soup, but whatever. Potatoes are, yeah, those are they're, nice. they're fine. Potatoes. Potatoes are potatoes. Why are they, why are some of them other? These are the ones I cut up by hand, the ends. Oh. Okay. Oh, I'll just put them in. Yeah, let's get them all in here and then I'll just I'll give them, make sure they're nice and dry. Looks, oh, thanks, Biggie. I hope it tastes yum. Mm. Um, you like fish and chips? It's probably my favorite food. It is his favorite uh, food. We'll go out, we'll be at a nice restaurant, and be like, mm, is there, what fish and chips look like? Is there fish and <laughs> chips? <laughs> and so if you're going to be traveling, this is a great place to travel to, if any of you guys go up to Cape Cod, Justin found his the favorite. I can't remember the, the name of the restaurant. Fish and chips. Oh, no. Yeah, I can't. It was oh, in um, Falmouth. It was in Falmouth, Falmouth yeah. Falmouth and Cape Cod. I can't remember the name. But... Oh, would you remember if you saw it? We'll have to. No. It was like it was like 
11 o'clock at night and they were still was, open. And it was this tiny little... It was really good. It was like you could tell it was cod. I mean, you, it you was talked real. about that for days, the whole trip. We went to Martha's Vineyard, ate at Martha's Vineyard, and I think his favorite thing was still that fish and chips. It was, it was legit. Yeah, he loved it. He loved it. Um, so, yeah, so thank you for watching. Again, um, check out the Facebook page. If you go to Facebook.com forward slash follow <laughs> Cooking for My Mom. We have special guests on there. Um, we've made, I don't know how many different episodes are you up to now. We're we've made a lot of different nine. meals. We're going on nine. Going on nine. Um, so still just in the beginning, but um, made a lot of really great things and had fun. And we had some of our friends over and we've had special guests. Mm -hmm. um, so check those out. We do those every week, too. If you want to watch live, you go to uh, Facebook.com slash looking for my mom Fridays at 7 p.m. Uh, we're there. I produce. Um, still waiting for my producer's name tag. We'll get I'm you a name tag. Time. I gotta talk See, to acquisition. See, hear me. You can talk to acquisition. We're gonna talk to acquisition um, about that. You know I don't have that kind of power. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll we'll work on that. So I'm supposed um, to shake it, right? Yeah. You're supposed to shake it. You're supposed to shake it. Um. So yeah. So yeah. Do that. Follow us. And again, I'm gonna do my my little plug for those of you that don't know. I am um a social worker and a doula. So if you know anybody that is basically um, expecting a child, pregnant, parenting, has any questions or concerns regarding any of that, um, check me out at parenttechnique.org is my website, oh, or parenttechnique or um, is on Facebook. Let's fix that. Oh, parenttechnique.org. Check it out anyway, even if like, you don't know anyone or you're not having kids or whatever, I put some <clears> really cool, interesting articles, one to two every day. Um, so yeah, so just, I don't know, check that out, but, um, yeah, thank you for watching and for following. Cool. Thank you. This fries going to be good. Yeah. Pretty excited about this. You know what we don't have? Huh. The reason I like fish and chips, tartar sauce. Uh, we don't have any tartar sauce. We have some veganaise, but we don't have any relish. What can we do? Can we do dill? And we don't have lemon juice. We have thyme. Should we make a chipotle mayo? We gotta make something. Mm. We gotta make something. You have stuff. You have barbecue sauce. <laughs> you have barbecue sauce? But it needs to be like kind of like tartar sauce. Oh, you want to? I don't know. Let's I don't do know. something. We're doing something wacky. Oh, tzatziki. We've got free yogurt. We this dill is no good. We have dill outside. You want to grab some dill? Yeah. All right, tzatziki it is. Yeah, I, tzatziki. I. I mean, we don't have all the stuff for tzatziki either, but we, we can work something out. We'll figure something out. I mean, some dill. Yeah. We don't have lemon or wine. No. No. So we'll just put a hint, just a tiny little bit. This is going to be terrible, guys. Tiny little bit of vinegar. Vinegar is about twice as strong as lemon. So, if you got a recipe that calls for lemon and you don't have any, you can use about half the amount of vinegar. It's not going to taste the same, but... Yeah, she's going to get some dill. Yeah, this will be good. This will be that had raw fish on it. Capers would be good. I think I'm going to put a little adobo in here. Look at that. Chipotle. Yeah. No, with the dill, that's not going to work. I think with the dill, this will be fine. A little bit of dill yogurt. Guys are coming along. Yeah, they won't get as like shattery crisp as if we were to do the proper method, but they will be good. We got dill? I picked up the other day. Uh, we're low on dill. You just dropped the dill. That precious dill. Oh, that is nothing. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought, well, that's okay. Better than nothing. So it's going to be yogurt, basically. <laughs> Just gonna put some so yogurt. just looking at like the sizzle, as you guys can see this, the way the fries are in there looks like beautiful. But you can't, it doesn't look as great on the camera, but. No? Yeah. 
What does the stream look like? It doesn't look like it looks down. Yeah, we got to work right. on our, our lighting and our color and stuff. And my shiny ass head. Well, can we adjust your little thing on the side? Because it's taking off some of the... Right? No, that's actually not? the full camera. So we can adjust oh, is this the camera. Over more? I changed the aspect ratio oh, before I was clicking. There we go. That's a you want to see the whole thing? Yeah. All right. How's that? That's better. Okay. okay. No, that's a good point because then we can always move this closer. Cool. <laughs> Let's For those of you that don't know, Justin's related to J-Lo. <laughs> That's the beat nuts. That's not J-Lo, darling. Just stir it into the top here. The beat nuts. It's the beat nuts. <laughs> Pants in my power and fellas who can't pain. Oh. Oh. A lot of pepper. Um, every time I you say that, all I hear is, uh, you remember Doug? Oh, it was a band in Doug. That's something um, beats. Yeah, the beats. Was it just the beats? The oh, beats. the beats. Oh, the... Their hit song was Killer Tofu. That's it. Killer Tofu. Ooh wee ooh. <laughs> Killer Tofu. Yeah. I really. That, not the beat nuts. Sounding old, but there, there are no, there aren't any beat shows out there with that anymore. It's not done. Kids these days don't understand cartoons. There's no Douglas. What's this um, eh, gumball? Hmm. No, no, you you no. call that a cartoon? <laughs> what? That I, yeah, gumball. I, that was that was like probably eight years ago. That was um, a cartoon. I'm way behind. Yeah, uh, I don't even know what a cartoon is now. What you do? Uh, Team Go is that? Team something? Team Go? Oh, what's the thing with the capes? Oh, PJ Masks. <laughs> I'll let Gecko Catboy. Cat <laughs> I work with toddlers. So, I know a lot about children's programming. <laughs> there we go. Those look good. What do you think, Colette? You want to go longer, or is that good? No, those are great. That's good. All right, let's let them drain. Let's deactivate our fryer. You look Rocking on my air guitar over here. Uh, let's get some parsley for to make this uh, make this look good. I've got cilantro. Sorry. I've got cilantro right here. There's too. a bunch of cilantro. Cilantro's one of them. We still got some in the fridge. But no, let's There's use this wilted parsley. Lots of basil. Let's just stop up. Let's put some in there too, actually. Some basil? Alright. Kill a toe. I'm way too much fun with that. <laughs> do 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 do. There we go. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. A fresh dew sauce. Dew yogurt sauce. Is that fry good? Perfect. That fry's good? Shut up. That's good? Oh, there we go. That's fresh. Parsley gives it a nice herbal nice. bite. I like it. An herbal bite. Get some pretty pieces out for the plating. There we go. All right. Now you get a salty fries season. You gotta salt your fries as soon as they come out. I don't know how to do I don't wanna salt them with the oil. Oh, you dingus. Uh, you gosh dang, now they're greasy. I wanna shake them. I dropped it back in the oil, guys. I blew it. They feel like they it dripped, it drained pretty quick when you had them out though too. Now that like I see it wet again, I'm like, oh this Yeah, and the water the the oil temp was dropped too, so they're gonna be a little greasy. Sometimes you screw everything up and your wife divorces you. What are you gonna do? It'll be okay. Baby. Come at me with these greasy fries. And shaking. All right. So you want to grease them as soon as they come out of the oil. The salt adheres to the chip, the fry. All right. Oh, that was perfect. 
Yeah, it's not, oh, I see. I'm missing the bar. There we go. All right. This is still on? Or is it off? Nope, it's off. Okay, I just see the fry thing, but it's in there. I'm going to have to get used to this. Yeah, so you, yeah. So that I don't have to really touch. Nope, not until it's time to drain it. It's when it's all done, on off. we'll drain it. Yep. On off. And you can, we can unplug it, too, just yes. so we, it's, it's completely unplugged. And, and then let's put it in a box. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's take out our dishes. Is that hot? That's too hot to touch. Too hot to touch. You need a towel. Ooh, there's some wine. Yeah, let's drink some wine. So we don't even get a lemon wedge, do we? No, we do not. We had a point. We had like four lemons and lights, too. We went through them. We went through a lot of lemons. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I'm <laughs> not going to have annoying. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did not have anything to drink yet. So, right now. Getting into that wine. Mm. My girl. Oh, that looks beautiful. Oh. He's also the master at plating things. I can put things on a plate. And I did not have to teach him how to do that. <laughs> I wouldn't say master. you got to watch some of these guys on Twitch, Autumn. It's a hunger service fella. If you're not watching him right now, you're wasting your time watching me. I'll tell you that. <laughs> hunger service is the... He's the man. And then we got Chef to Party, who's pretty boss. Um, who else is good? <laughs> Cooking with Kate. She's pretty good. And that the lady person. the da lady D, Something like that. She's, she's pretty good, too. A lot of good cooks on Twitch. Recognize I'm the new guy and I'm not very talented or funny or attractive. Though I do appreciate you watching if you are. Yes. Oh, Mike Sai. Mike Sai. That's the guy right there. Mike Sai. No, so I'm curious about his science credentials. Mike Sai, I'm calling you out. What's your degree in? Huh? Is it really sad? I don't know. He's a good cook and he's interesting. But I don't know what his degree is in. I'd like to know. As a scientist. Calling you out, Mike Sai. You ready to get into this? Yeah. Alright. Oh, let's bring the camera down for a close-up. Oh! Hey, bringing it down. <laughs> Alright, don't worry, guys. Relax. <laughs> hey, there's some fish. Let's go main. Let's go full screen. There we go. Yeah, so like I said, I do Beautiful. enjoy frying my fish extra hard. And again, it is not probably went a couple minutes like in person. Longer. But it is beautiful. Yeah, we're gonna enjoy this. I have a feeling we're gonna enjoy the food. Thank you guys for coming on and watching us and I hope you watch us again real soon. Oh we gotta eat this food, Autumn. We're not gonna eat the whole thing in front of us. Oh we gotta eat this entire food while licking our chops. Oh no no. Mm -hmm. I'll take a bite though, because I know I'm sorry, I forget you have to do that bite scene. Bite no, scene. it's like I feel weird. I feel like You don't want to eat being, on the internet? I feel like I'm being rude. Because they can't have any. You're yeah. Sweet. I do. It's like it's like eating. Yeah, I still like unless it's like a scheduled date and he's gonna be home way late. That's it. And like getting food. Like I pretty much I like wait for him to come home like Cause you're the it weirds me out. That's just how what I'm used to. All right. But I'm also very sweet. Thank you. Just don't touch my food. This is mine. And that is yours. Alright, here we go. I don't like forks for fish, man. It's I'm keeping it, I'm it's keeping it real. Top. Mm. I'm down with that. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of flavor in that batter. A that tablespoon of, of paprika, garlic. That is That, that is, is the best. You know, I'm... Guys, I'm totally not a fan. It's just like bland. It's normally just like when you it's, it's, it's like no, it's like somebody that doesn't own one thing of seasoning just puts fish in and fries it. No, this know. is. You put a tablespoon of garlic mm. and a tablespoon of paprika 
it's into like, half a cup yeah, of flour. Yeah, it normally tastes like just half fried. Half a cup of flour. Just fried skin. That's eight to one. Mm. Oh Is that eight God. to one? We're going to say that's eight to one. It's either eight to one or six to one. How many? Three tablespoons in a quarter cup. Six to one. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. Everybody, get a chance. Make this for yourself at home. And really, like, with fish and chips, that the seasoning makes it's a huge difference because it's not like a... It's not like naturally a meal that's like super full of all these tastes, you know? So the seasoning really, oh my God, this paprika is delicious. Mm. Okay. Mm. So, you know, there's a thing, there's a phenomenon on Twitch. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I don't think it's just on Twitch, but it's social eating where people don't even cook. They just eat and people watch them eat. Yeah. It's nope. usually young Asian women. I'm not a young Asian woman. It's just like, it's like me eating in front of people but that aren't eating. I think they want to watch me eat this fish, Autumn. No. <laughs> no. No one wants to eat, watch you eat fish. No, no one wants to really watch anybody else eat food. That's why, like, I'm telling you, even the thing. Food Network, it's like, I want to you see how bite. you do it and make it, but as soon as you take a bite, your mice watering. Like, I don't want to see you eat this delicious food that I'm not eating right now. It's cruel. Cool. We're not going to be that cool, oh. ladies and gentlemen. Have you ever seen Guy Fieri? But this is delicious. Have you ever seen Guy Fieri reverse eat food? You need to pull that out. You need mm -hmm. to see this. Mm -hmm. It's pretty mm -hmm. great. Audio input capture. No. <clears throat> I don't think I can. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Not today. Because if I put browser, yeah, maybe if I try browser. All right, let me see if I can get this working. I'm gonna see Guy Fieri eating food backwards. No, oh, okay. It's gonna really wet your appetite, Autumn. Oh. Oh, it's a Conan skit. Oh. Um, hmm. Yeah, that was the issue. Can I switch scene collections? Well, will they, if you were playing it, will they see it? That's what I'm working on, darling. I just don't mean to refer to you as they. Even guys, because you might not identify as guys. People. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think if we uh, it's not work. just ignore my team. Okay, we're working on it. We're almost there. No. Oh! Oh, uh, girl! <laughs> Pause, and we'll shut off that ticker, and then check this out. Copy. Oh, this is copyrighted though. They Twitch might freak out. We'll see. Oh, you're we'll right. We'll see. Um, does she have has music in it? Yeah, it doesn't. It shouldn't. Paste. Okay. Reload. Uh, if you want to Here we go. Mr. First, a little okay, presentation. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Desktop audio, excellent. Hijacking us. As long as evil villains reveal their plans, you can count on Geico saving folks money. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. All right. With so many channels to choose from, these yeah, days TV viewers are becoming screen, harder right? and harder to impress. That's why this show, which I call Conan. <laughs> is working around the clock to bring you revolutionary, groundbreaking television. So here it is, something you've never seen on TV before, Guy Fieri eating in reverse. No, it's, no, it's him eating, but they're playing it backwards. I've never seen that. Thanks, man. I haven't seen it before. Sorry, I got it. You haven't seen it before, and you will never see it again. You made the world a better place, that Conan O'Brien. My goodness. Um, but anyway, thank you all for, for joining us. I'm going to go eat the rest of this and um, do oh, some reading up, for up. my meeting tomorrow.
It deactivated because I switched the scene collection. There we go. Oh, okay, they're back now. So thank you all for watching. I'm gonna, um, like I said, just finish up my meal. I got a, a little meeting tomorrow, so I had to go prepare for that. But check us out. Um, again, cooking for my mom. If you go to facebook.com forward slash cooking for my mom, you'll see us there. You'll see past videos we've done, um, our special guests, all of that. If you're on Twitch, just um, please check out some of our stuff, like us, subscribe. We're just starting out. But uh, follow. Enjoying please, this. if you could, and hit the follow, follow button okay. on Twitch. So we can get to 50. Thank you. When we get to 50, what happens? Um, we get naked. Ooh. Yeah, we're getting naked on Twitch, The two of us? Both of us. Ooh. Just her. You're into it. <laughs> then we get kicked just off her? Twitch. Just her? Oh, no, no, no. And we get, no one's getting naked, we'll, all right? No one's getting naked. No one's we'll getting just, naked. We'll sing you a beautiful we'll talk song. About, we'll talk about getting naked. The 50th <laughs> follower gets a custom song. Oh, yeah, that's composed right. Composed. a custom song. And sang to. Yeah. 50th follower. Um, and Is also, you? if you need social worker doula services, <laughs> I will give those out for the 50th followers. Sir Biz. All right. Sir Biz, I said it. It's live. Don't do it. It's all live. Right. You can't take it back now. Love you all. Thank you.